Welcome students. In this video, let us look at focal chord. So we have already seen what a chord is, slope, the equation and the length of a general chord. Now, if this chord passes through the focus, such chords are called focal chords. So what is the special property of the focal chord? That's the most important thing. So first, what should happen in terms of T1, T2 if this chord has to pass through the focus? So the property says that T1 into T2, the product of the parameters has to be equal to minus 1. If the product of these two parameters is minus 1, then the chord will automatically pass through the focus. This is the most important property. So let us see why this is happening. Now what is the equation of chord? We have already derived this as y times t1 plus t2 is equal to 2 times x plus a t1 t2. Now if this chord has to be a focal chord, this chord has to satisfy the point a comma 0. So if you put a comma 0 in this chord, so you get y is 0, so 0 is equal to 2 times x is a plus a t1 t2. This implies 1 plus 1 plus t1 t2 has to be equal to 0 and t1 t2 is equal to minus 1. That is if a chord joining t1 and t2 has to be equal to, has to be a focal chord and the product of these two parameters has to be equal to minus 1. Remember the condition for perpendicularity in straight lines. There the product of slopes has to be equal to minus 1. Here the product of parameters have to be equal to minus 1. That means this T1 and T2 are dependent on each other. That means you don't need two different parameters for a focal chord. If the parameter of point P is T, the parameter of point Q will directly be equal to minus 1 by T. For example, if the parameter of point P is 2 and if it is a focal chord, the parameters of point Q has to be equal to minus 1 by T. So I hope you understand the meaning of T1, T2 is equal to minus 1. Now let us look at some special properties of the focal chord. 